Hey guys, uh, Thomas here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, another quick video of barbarian. This one is involving food. <laughs> well, well, since we've been hanging out a long time, I, he cooked for me. I cooked for him, and you know we we, we go vice versa. We you know we go to uh, the diner. We have a good time. Our favorite place to go on the road would be uh, Cracker Barrel. He's a Cracker Barrel head. He he knows the menu forwards backwards, so he knows exactly what he is, what he gets. Um, so we tend to, to like the, a lot of the same things. So this one time, um, so um, there's this place. Well, not this place, but um, so um, when we were growing up, his his mother used to make uh, this incredible chili. I would go over to his house and the chili was, it was, see my mom didn't cook chili a lot, no, basically not at all. Um, so uh, chili was something strange to me. Um, the first time I had chili, I was in the seventh grade and you know, it wasn't really, really good. But when I was in the seventh grade, I went over to, um, that's when being buried, became friends. So I would go over to his, his house, he lived on uh, uh, not too far away, so I would go over to the house and I would hang out with him. And his mom would say, "Well, you want something to eat?" So like, yeah, I want something to eat. So his mom would make some this incredible chili. It was it had the beans in it. It was rich. It was dark. It was f fantastic. And and she always made the chili. It was good, good. And uh, it was one of my my staples. When her would come over to my house, and my mother would make some spaghetti. He talked about the spaghetti. That was my deal. But he came in because he's my brother. So come over and said, yeah. So I said, so mom said, you want some food? I said, yeah. I said, well, I said, I said, bro, you can't have none of this. <laughs> so, so he had a chance to taste some of my spaghetti. He said, this is so good, the spaghetti. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. So, so he said, I said, so mom said, you know, help yourself. You know, because he's, he's he, he, we accepted him to our family. So he's like, yeah. I love your mom's spaghetti, so I loved his mom's um, chili. He loved my mom's spaghetti. Yes, <laughs> so we always had a good time about uh, eating. <laughs> so, so, um, so we always, like I said, and, and there's another video where we talked about um, at the Breakfast Club. Uh, this is when Barry came to, to visit me in College Park, and we had this debate about. Um, Turkey sausage versus regular, <laughs> regular, I mean, turkey bacon versus regular bacon. So you got to see the video. It should be pointed up here. But anyway, um, we would have a, uh, a good time. So one of the dishes that he uh, he cooked for me was uh, um, he made chili one time for me. Uh, it was like maybe like five, six years ago. And he made it uh, using his mom's recipe. It was pretty good, but it wasn't as mild, but it was still good. I said, yeah, I like this. He said, yeah, man, yeah, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I said, I love it. Yeah, he said, I'm going to make it again sometime. That was five years ago. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's not going to make it again because he's gone. <laughs> so I keep talking. Uh, when are you going to make the chili? And it's like about maybe last August. I said, I said man, when are you going to make some chili? He said, oh, man, I got it, I got it, I got it. No problem, I got you, I got you. Okay, so, um, so he made this um, dishes Kung Pao chicken when when he used to live over in Woodland, and there was a restaurant called the China China Cafe, and he would go there maybe like once twice a week because they made some Kung Pao chicken, and that was his favorite Kung Pao chicken, <laughs> and uh, he said, man, I'd like some Kung Pao chicken, and so he said, I said I made it a couple times, you know, so maybe one time when you come over. You know, we can have some compound chicken. I said, okay. All right. I said, okay. It'd be fine. So about, about a year ago, uh, yeah, about a year ago, he, he made some compound chicken. And it, uh, you know, it had peanuts in it and, it, you know, chopped up chicken. He did a good job. It, it was homemade. He, he did a good job. But it was too damn hot. <laughs> I mean, uh, it was, for him, it was, it was no problem. For me, it was, I was like, my God. I said, well, I said, well, you know, I tried to eat, eat, eat the best. It was my man made it, you know. So 
I had a smile on my face anyway. Uh, I mean, it was good, but it was just too daggone spicy for me. But he was like, I was chopping it up, and then, you know. Um, <laughs> so what do you mean? I mean, he made it, and you know, and I was appreciative to it, you know. And I, and I said, thank you very much. And he said, yeah, we make it again. I said, okay. I said, and I told him, I said it was a little too spicy for me, but you know, it's it's okay. He said, no problem, no problem. I, you know, next time I won't be so. I think I was a little bit more heavy handed than usual. I said, okay, that's fine. You know, this next time you make it, just you know, just bring it back a little bit, so you know, I can really enjoy the flavor. So he said, okay, that's cool. So we, you know, we had that kind of um, relationship. Um, talking about uh, his, his spicy food, there was a, a place, there's a, uh, a a Jamaican place, but uh, he would go to, and, and he said that uh, he would get uh, some jerk chicken, and, uh, and it was by a Trinidadian. And he said the Trinidadian version of jerk chicken is a lot more spicier and he says he likes it that way really spicy uh really heat and the um the guy told him say look man if you if you don't want no hot food you should not try this and he said yeah just give it to me and he enjoyed it, it was it, he said it was hot but i loved it i said okay that sounds great and that was that was before the uh, the uh coof and said, well, he's supposed to go back over there. I think he went over there one time before he passed away. Um, and uh, so I, I didn't, I, I liked Jamaican food. And so I didn't, I, I, I saw the place, but when I was going over there to, to, to buy some food, they were closed. So I was like, okay. So I never went to the place. But uh, but there was a couple other places in, in, that we went to. There was Jamaican place, and we had a good time eating that also. So anyway, but, you know, uh, when we were in Houston, uh, there's a place called The Breakfast Club. And that place had the, the, the had some great food. I mean, I recommend that place to the hell, The Breakfast Club. And it's, it's in uh, downtown Houston. And, I mean, the eggs were, oh, my God. And very excited. This, this lady eating some chicken. He said, "Look, next time I come here, we should get some chicken." Because I seen this lady; she was tearing it up. <laughs> uh, I had some grits and the eggs. Just tastes like what my mom or my dad would cook. It was, it was perfect. It was to perfection. The eggs. Oh my goodness! And I, I um, I think I had uh, I had some pancakes, and he had some waffles, and they were all delicious. But, um, but the place, um. And Houston, it's you know, it's it's always had um, a big good reputation, and and they only open to two o'clock, but you got to get there early because the place is packed. So anyway, that's one of the places that we had went to um, when we went to uh, Houston. So anyway, um, anyway, I just wanted to just let you know about some of the the, the food things that we have <laughs> been into. Um, there's one other place that we go to, uh, Fort Lauderdale, called Peter Pan's, and um, that place is a, it's it's a it's a diner. But I tell you, it, they make some good food there too. And I, I and I slept on this place because I've been to Fort Lauderdale like four or five different times, and I was staying up the street from it, and I didn't know anything about it. But when I found out, I'm going, and um, so it was good. So anyway, you guys have a good day. Check out my links down there for some money-saving uh, tips, for some money-saving uh, things that I can help you with. Uh, leave a link, comment, um, so and check out my blog also, okay? Check the link down here, okay? You guys take care. Bye-bye.